And switching gears, joining me now is Bill Bennett. He's former education secretary, former White House drug czar, Fox News contributor, co and co-author of The Book of Virtues. Good to see you, Bill. Thanks for being in. Appreciate it. Um, you know, hey, we were, hey, hey, I'm from the neighborhood. Yeah, we were, that's right. My dad was anyway, and I grew up in the same neighborhood. You guys used to to shop at the same stores and stuff too. It was fun to hear that. But let's get on to business because yes, we were just talking about a new climate emergency. Uh, as we're now hearing talk from the president and some of his advisors, advisors about a new COVID emergency, do you think it's conceivable? Uh, that after all we went through with the pandemic, they would actually be able to talk Americans into an another pandemic? Well, uh, they'll have the power to do so. Uh, if Randy Weingarten of the Teachers Union has any say in it. Uh, but you want a real emergency? It's the learning emergency. That's right. Uh, I don't know that there's a COVID emergency. There's a real learning emergency, and that is uh, reading and math. Uh, and these other things you've talked about, I've been watching the whole show, all serious, all important, all have long-term consequences. What are the long-term consequences of kids not being able to read and do math? Meanwhile, uh, the Chinese, to whom we are going on bended knee, uh, they're, they're reading, uh, and in fact, reading in English, many of them better than uh, our kids, uh, and they're doing math at much earlier grades. What will be the effect of that? Uh, we really need a, a radical change in the schools. One thing about COVID that was good was parents got to look into That's what right. was going on That's in America's right. schools. And they saw it and they said, what the heck is this all about? No, that was, that was a great thing. And, and of course, it made them realize how little power they had over their own children. Uh, because a lot of what their kids were learning, they realized they didn't agree with. And it, not only was it they're not doing it well, but what they were learning, they didn't like. And, and it has been a boost to the whole idea of, of, of school choice, which would actually give people control of the money, their own money that goes to, to schools. Now they don't have any, any effect in how that money is spent, but they want that effect through school choice. That also is a good thing, isn't it? It is a good thing, but it's not enough. Uh, <clears throat> a lot's been made out of school choice. I like to think I'm the godfather of school choice. I talked about the three C's, uh, choice, content, and character. It was what school's being That's about. Right. I remember both uh, very well. Uh, it is a good thing, but um, it's not good enough because the performance of our schools, even our Catholic schools where I went, uh, and private schools is not up to where it should be. Uh, yes, parents should have that say, but we really need to up our standards. We need, really need to up our expectations. We need to think about schools like we think about sports. Uh, and by the way, boys and girls can all uh, contribute to the same math activity and the same reading activity. This is one where you can have both sexes involved. Uh, that's fine. But we've got to get uh, we've got to get uh, the standards up. But you know, it's not Bill. It's not about up, money. People in decline. people inside the Beltway no, no. immediately talk about spending more money. We spent two hundred billion dollars in COVID relief plans, and I I don't know where the money went. Do you? And it certainly didn't go in in raising test scores. They've gone no. in the opposite direction. Well, I, there are a lot of school districts around the country that will tell you honestly, quietly, over drinks. Uh, that they are awash in money and they don't know how to spend it. A lot of the states have a lot of money and they don't know, uh, they don't know what to do with it. But it's absolutely not about money. Uh, I visited a lot of great schools around the country and the great schools didn't correlate with the schools that spent the most money. They were the schools that spent the most time on task. Homework, work in school, the right lessons, uh, doing things the way we have learned uh, works. Uh, rather than any newfangled ideas. It, Innovation yeah. has killed a lot of American education. Absolutely. We've made innovation yes. a synonym for improvement. Well, I went, to, I went to graduate school. I was getting a master's in education. I don't know if you ever knew that. And, and I, I dropped out because I was so fed I'm up with what they were I'm teaching sorry. me. I was at a, yeah, exactly. I'm, I was at Northwestern. It was, a, it was a good school, but they were teaching stuff that, that, that didn't deal with the fundamentals. And, and that's created the new education group that we have controlling things now. Well, you survived it, and your English is very good, despite having <laughs> gone to a teacher's uh, a master's degree. And I, uh, I, I very much congratulate you. No, this is one tr set of training, teacher training, where the people who go through it say they would have been better off without it. 
Well, it's, 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 it's very clear it's about standards and discipline. There are a lot of people, by the way, who've, who left public school and public school money and benefits to lower the amount of money that they were getting so they could teach at Catholic schools where they had better standards, where they had better discipline, and surprise, they had better yes, test scores as well. I mean, that's the key. And the other key is, is something a little harder to get to. Vivek Ramaswamy's tried when he talks about the, the demise of the, of the nuclear family, how important it is. Uh, yep, and and you look at what is happening now. The, the statistics are extraordinary. The last group of statistics we had on single, fam single parent families uh, came out just before the pandemic. I think the actual numbers were taken in 2019. But set close to 70% of, of black children are born into a family with just one parent. Uh, the, numbers, the numbers are lower with, with whites, but the numbers with whites are growing as well. Uh, it's, it's really frightening. How do, how do you rebuild the nuclear family, which is so important if you want good education standards? Well, the pulpit's one place. Uh, television can be another place. Uh, the bully pulpit of the presidency uh, can be a third place. Uh, we've got to talk about the importance of it. Uh, it's been hidden. Uh, people have uh, uh, condemned people who bring it up, saying you're not allowed to speak about that. What do you mean the family? What do you mean the nuclear family? Uh, well, there is such a thing. Uh, and it's important to have fathers in the home. Uh, I know as a father, sometimes you're the one who has to lay down the hammer, you know? Right. And uh, so be it. Uh, and that's, that's the way it works. That's the way it should work. We got to bring the men back in. They have to be told they have to come back in. Well, we, we can get a lot of the information about how important those families are in Book of Virtues and and we're glad a new edition is out for people to buy. So we thank you for writing the book, and thank you for being here, Bill. Good to see you as always.